Hello, I wanted to show you one way you can change the position of the gun on screen and the position of the left hand on the gun using the provided animation blueprint of the project. I'm going to use an, as an example the full body project 1 version but you can do the same thing in the other versions of the project. So let's open the animation blueprint of the full body project 1. Now in the not aiming section I'm going to add a transform bone node. And with the node selected I'm going to the details panel and choose the VB side bone. Moving the VB side bone will move the right hand and this will move the gun because the gun is attached to the right hand bone the hand R bone so VB sight and translation mode switch from ignore to add to existing and the space will be parent bone space I guess you can use bone space too, but, but usually I prefer parent bone space. And same thing with the rotation mode, add to existing and rota rotation space, parent bone space. Now I'm going to connect the, the node. And when I compile and select the node, I get a gizmo. And with this gizmo, I can rotate the, the bone as I want. And when I press space, I alternate between rotation and translation. And I can, of course, I can type the values I want for translation and rotation here in, in the fields. And now for the left hand I can do something similar, but instead of here in the not aim section, I'm going here and add another tr transform bone node. This time I'm going to select the VB hand L bone. And I'm going to connect the node. And when I compile, oh, I forgot to change this from ignore to add to existing, translation mode, translation space, same thing, parent bone space, rotation mode, add to existing, rotation space, parent bone space, compile, and I get a gizmo now for the left hand. save and let's test this in game go to the full body project one map here's my new position and it doesn't affect aiming so aiming is still aligned but since it affects the left hand it will affect the reload animation so you might not want want that node active when you reload when you when you are reloading what you can do to inactivate 
these this node whenever you want is to set the alpha to zero when alpha is one the node is active when the alpha is zero the node is turned off so the hand goes back to the original position so you can instead of typing here directly you could drag from the pin and choose promote to variable now you have a a variable that you can use in the event graph to manipulate and make this one or zero whenever you want in game when you have an alpha variable connected to the alpha pin of the node you can come here with the node selected and turn on intact result this will allow you to switch the value of the alpha variable instantly like from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 instantly and the node will interpolate this value and will make a smooth transition so you, you, you check in tap result and you can control the speed of the transition with these two values here this is very handy you can also drag from the translation and rotation pins and promote them to variables and you could manipulate the position and, and, and rotation of the left hand in the event graph so you can place them where you want whenever you want but just for the demonstration just for this demonstration I'm going to leave it like this I'm going to pile again and you can also adjust adjust these in game adjust the animation blueprint while the game is running so you can see better what you're doing from the first person camera point of view so let me select the node for the left hand and if I rotate here and compile you see the left hand is moving in game and if I select the node for the right hand which is here now I get a gizmo for the right hand and I can move the right hand and ro rotate and move the right hand live Now just for illustration I did the same thing in the arms only project 2 so let's open the animation blueprint of the arms only 2 and the the right hand from Sean Bone is in the same place in the not aiming section the only difference is that this version doesn't have the VB side bone so we choose instead of VB side we choose VB hand R and one thing is that when you switch to translation the gizmo goes down because we are in parent bone space and the parent of the VB hand R bone is the root bone so that's why the translation gizmo goes to the position of the root bone but the rotation gizmo is at the right hand location and for the left hand I place I place the the node after the the slot and before the post movement node let's see the result in game
also if you want to move the fingers you can use transform bone nodes to move each finger if you want so for example I'm, I'm going to move the thumb so I'm going to place a transform bone for the thumb it might be a good idea in this case to place the the transform bone node near the end of the graph so it doesn't get overridden by other nodes that come after it so for the thumb I'm going to choose thumb 01 which is the base of the thumb add to existing here I'm going to choose bone space instead of parent bone space add to existing bone space Usually it's not a good idea to translate the bone because it will disconnect it from the hand. Usually for body bones you just rotate them. So let's see 30 degrees on the z-axis. Compile. Went up. Minus 30. So it's now out of the way. Minus 30, 